Welcome in. We're so excited for this. Trailblazing tech company, X-Ray Glass, recently allowed deaf people to actually see conversations wearing special glasses. And now we are joined with Dan Scarf, CEO of X-Ray Glass. Dan, tell me what you guys have been doing. This is amazing. Well, thank you so much for having me on. Uh, back in August, we announced a pilot program uh, where we unveiled for the first time this technology and invited people from around the world to trial it. We had over a thousand people apply to be part of our pilot, which we whittled down to a few dozen who we have been working tirelessly with night and day ever since. And we are so excited today to be able to announce the general availability of the X-ray glass software. So as of now, anyone anywhere in the world can go download the application, get hold of a pair of augmented reality glasses and experience life subtitled. Okay, so those, um, the augmented reality glasses, do the people get them through you as well? No, nope. so these augmented reality glasses are made by a company called Enreal. Uh, these glasses are available on Amazon, um, so people just need to get hold of these glasses. They do require a compatible Android phone, so you need to make sure that you've got one of those as well. Uh, but once you have that, you are ready to go and install the software. This is amazing. I just, I mean, as a communicator, we do this for a living. It's so exciting to realize we're really going to be able to connect with people in just a whole, a whole new world, a whole new level. We hope so. I mean, in fact, I've been using them, would you believe, and I don't suffer from any kind of hearing loss. But even for me, watching TV, I've actually been getting far more context and far more information by being able to hear every single word. Um, the translation features that we have announced today as well are also incredible. So, you know, the consistent feedback that we got from our pilot users was it's great that we can do subtitles in English, but there are some other languages you might want to think about. So as of today, you can now do transcription in nine of the world's leading languages, including English, French, German, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish. Korean, Chinese, and uh, Japanese. Um, and we've also then taken it one step further, and we are also allowing users the ability to be able to translate in and out of any of those languages. So now I could be having a conversation with somebody speaking Chinese, for instance, and everything that they are saying is appearing in English, in my case, uh, in the AR glasses. That is, that's definitely a game changer, especially for travel. I can only imagine people wearing these and using, you know, your software to really have totally different experiences than they would have had maybe even a few years ago before this software came out. Absolutely. And the bit that we are probably most excited about, though, is our personal assistant. So this is the most groundbreaking of the technology that we are announcing today. So now let's imagine we've been wearing these glasses for a few days or a few weeks. We now have all of these transcripts, the conversation history stored on the phone, not in the cloud, just to be clear. Imagine we could say things like, hey, X-ray, could you summarize the conversation that we've just had? And it could take a two hour long conversation and summarize it down into a few sentences. Or you might say, hey, X-Ray, um, what was the name of the person that I was just talking to? Because I've forgotten already. And it would immediately say, James was the name of the person that you were just speaking to. <laughs> or we can ask it anything else we like. Like we might ask it, uh, what's the difference between augmented reality and virtual reality, for instance? And it's going to be able to, first of all, understand the question that I, I've asked. But second of all, actually provide me some kind of sensible answer back. So this is really stable of the art technology and this will be the first time that people have experienced working nice. with these large language models almost like a personal assistant it's exactly <laughs> like a personal assistant but a personal assistant that knows the details of every single conversation you've ever had every single thing you've ever agreed to do what the <laughs> shopping that you were supposed to pick up Dan, it might be a little too much i <laughs> well, don't know from, well, <laughs> I fear there might be some uh, arguments settled about who said what in a rather too <laughs> clinical way nowadays. But there we go. Yes, the x-ray software will be settling a lot of disagreements in the households. 
Um, so uh, when you originally came up with this concept, it was for people that are deaf and hard of hearing. What has the interest been like as a whole? Well, the reaction um, from the, the deaf users that we've had has, of course, been incredible and it is life changing for them. But what's most interesting for us is, in fact, you know, the range of people that we can help beyond just the deaf. So, you know, we had a, a user who tried this for the first time who has CAPD, uh, Central Audio Processing Disorder. The guy can hear just fine. He just can't process anything that he hears. So an ability to be able to read subtitles means that he can now all of a sudden be part of conversation before. We've had other users who suffer from ADHD, from dyslexia, from autism, from a whole range of different neurodiverse conditions who again can benefit from first of all an ability to be able to read something rather than hear it but also to be able to get summaries. You know if I'm a student who's dyslexic and I'm sat in a lecture theatre hearing a big lecture you know an ability to be able to summarise it or to ask questions you know is incredibly powerful for them. Oh it's amazing this is a game changer I can't wait to see what you guys come up with next. So if people are interested in finding out more about x-ray glass what's the best way to do it? to visit our website, which is xrai.glass. In case you're wondering, the XR is extended reality, the AI is artificial intelligence. We're bringing those two things together. But if you go to our website, big button to download the app from the Google Play Store. And then in the product page next to it, you'll see a link to buy these glasses from Amazon uh, and also the microphones that we recommend for the best results. Yeah, so you know that it'll all be compatible. Maybe you'll do something with an iPhone coming up? Well, uh, Apple are releasing their own glasses at some point next year, so I'm afraid Apple users will have to wait for the Apple glasses to come out. But anybody that wants to experience AR today, uh, they can invest in a second Android phone just to power the glasses. Okay, Dan Scarf, CEO of X-Ray Glass. Thanks so much for just sharing this new technology with our viewers and um, changing the world a little bit. Thanks, Dan. We're trying. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be back after a quick break.